great morning great morning great morning great morning great morning everyone how are we doing this morning um wanted to do my facebook live woke up this morning with a song on my mind um and i'm not a singer but the song is I believe it's william mcdowell i will remain confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord um how many people know that song i shall remain confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord yes that's the song that i woke up in my spirit this morning i shall remain confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord and so as i woke up this morning with that song in my mind and in my spirit i just began to find it and i began to play that song i shall remain confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord and so um i got up this morning of course, did my prayer, did my meditation and all that. And I am in my prayer room right now. I have a, a, a prayer room and I've just said, I, I really go live from my prayer room, but I said, let me just go in because it's on my spirit so heavy right now. And as I was listening to that song, I shall remain <laughs> confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord i'm saying this song because i need you who are watching me today on facebook live to have that same type of energy this day as you go forth in this day um and again i want you to say i shall remain confident in this i shall see the goodness of the lord and so what i mean when when i listened to the song and i went and found it i listened to the words of the song and it says the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear whom shall i be afraid and it began to talk about going through some trials and some tribulations and in and then it says i shall remain confident that I shall see the goodness of the Lord. And so I want to share that message to you this morning um, before I go on about my day and get started in my in my real estate world. I want to share that message with you is that for you to remain confident that whatever you're going through and whatever is happening in your life, whatever thing is, is having you up at night any tri trial, any tribulation that you may go through, any heartache that you may be going through, anything that may be keeping you up at night, whether it's relationships, whether it's your business, whether it's your finances, whatever that thing is, I want you to understand and be confident that you shall see the goodness of the Lord. And what I mean by that is the wonderful thing is that um, as I reflected on my life this morning, the wonderful thing is that God gives us the power to take pain and turn it into power. And whenever you have a pain and trial, tribulation, or anything that you're going through, he has given us the ability to convert that pain into power. And when we convert that pain into power, we become a new version of ourselves. So never get so um, to a point, stressed out to a point where you, 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 you fall to depression and things like that, because I want you to understand and be confident that everything that you go through, every pain produces a power. It is going to produce you a power to excel. But if you don't be intentional about it this morning and you just stay focused on the pain, that's where depression comes in. But I'm here this morning to tell you to reinvent yourself. This morning, I'm here to give you a message that says reinvent yourself. Take the pain, take the problems, take the trauma, take the disappointment, take everything that you have learned and perceived failure and reinvent yourself because that is what you have the ability to do and remain confident in this, that you shall see the goodness of God. It's, it's a mindset. You understand? It's the mindset to say, although 
you know, I'm going through, although I may have trials, although I may have tribulations, although things may, all hell may be broken loose in my life, although I'm trying to keep my mind together, I'm trying to keep my sanity, I'm trying to keep my business together, I'm trying to figure out how to level up my business, and, and the people who I try to depend on, uh, they prove themselves to be undependable, uh, and things feel like they're falling apart, I'm here this morning to say, it is okay, just chill. Just chill. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay this morning. I want you to take a step back, look at it, and then figure out what do you need to learn from it. And then understand that you can turn every pain, any adversity into a power to reinvent yourself. So I'm going to tell you a quick story and then I'm going to get on with my day. When I was going through my um, divorce, like I said before, it was one of the most traumatic, um, emotional things um, that I've experienced in my life. And I wasn't ready for it because I was one of those people with like, well, I'm all set. I'm good. And, and I thought that I would be okay. I am okay. God obviously brought me out on the other side and flying colors better than what I was. But when I was going through it, it was very hard. It was very emotional. It was hard for me to concentrate. It was hard for me to, to eat. It was just, it was just terrible. Right. So I'm being transparent. But I remember having a conversation with my cousin Jackie, and she's in Philadelphia. I had a conversation with her, and it was about 2 o'clock in the morning. See, God knows what you need before you ask a thing. The wonderful thing is that during my traumatic time and my emotional time, God gave me my cousin to be my best friend during that time. But she was she's a nurse, so she works weird hours, like 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. So she's up during the min during those hours. And so God is so good that I was up during those hours, but I wasn't up during those hours just doing work. I was up and during those hours because I was stressed, because I was fighting depression, because my life felt like it was upside down, because I was crying silently. I was up in the, in the middle of the night doing all those things. But God is so good that he put my cousin in my life been in my life my whole life but he put her in my life at that time where she would call me at two in the morning like it's two in the afternoon and we would just talk and so that helped get me out of the the rut emotional rut I was in but I remember saying to her after praying and watching Sarah Jake's um uh video that she did and it was like girl get up it was a video that she did called girl get up and so I remember talking to her and I was saying, you know what, Jackie, check this out. I was like, you know what? I can't wait to see who I become after this. And she was like, what do you mean? And I said it again. I said, I can't wait to see who I become after this. And then she goes, why do you say that? And I was like, girl, there's no way in the world that I can have this much trauma, this much pain, this much conflict, this much hell going loose in my life for me to remain the same. So when God brings me out of this dark place that I'm in, I am not going to be the same Roberta. I'm not going to be the same pumpkin. I'm not going to be the same person that I was before the trial. Because I understand this, pain produces power. And I am intentional about that. I will not allow the enemy to take me out. But I will allow the pain and the, and the things that I go through to be able to produce a power within me. So while I'm going through my trial and tribulation, while it feels like all hell is breaking loose in my life, I'm going to remain confident that I'm going to see the salvation of the Lord. And I'm also going to remain confident that I know that pain produces power. And I know that the more pain that I have, the more power that God is going to produce in me. So I look forward. I look forward to seeing who I become after this. And so she was like, wow, that's powerful. But I meant it. And I need you to understand that this morning, whoever you are, wherever you are watching me from on social media, I need you to understand that you have the ability to reinvent yourself. You have the ability to use everything in the past, every hurt, every disappointment, every trial, every tribulation, every good thing, every bad thing to take it and reinvent yourself to become a better version of who you are. So I'm grateful this morning as I'm before you and I'm past that test of, of where I was in that dark place. And I'm at a better place. I'm at a clearer place. I'm at a, a more productive place. God brought me to it. 
but I have a different mindset. You understand? So I may look the same on the outside, but the inside of me changed. So I reinvented myself by reinventing the way that I saw things and reinventing the way that I perceived things. And so I want that to be the message for you today. Do not let pain hold you down. Don't let disappointment hold you down and cause depression. I'm here for you to, to say, let it be used to reinvent yourself. It is your pain that produces your power. It is the pain that produced the power. So don't look like it, like you're under attack. You're under the potter's will. Uh, yeah, that's is why I, I, you know, yesterday I was watching my mentor TD Jakes and he was saying, I name the church, the potter's house because God is the potter. And so when you are a potter, you're being formed. You a potter form. So, and we are the clay who's being formed. And anytime you're being formed and made into something new or being reinvented, it doesn't feel good because you're used to things being in a place that they were and you're used to normal and you're used to comfortable. But when God says, I am taking and I'm reforming you and I'm reinventing you and I'm causing you to become something different, I got to pour a little bit of tears in there. I got to pour a little bit of disappointment because I want to see how resilient you make because you become because pain produces the more power you have. And uh, I want to see how much bounce back you have. I want to see how resilient I want to see that if the world is crumbling down, would you would you deny me? Would you walk away or would you stay? And so I have to put you through the test. And so after you get through the test, you become something greater. You understand? Reinvent yourself. And even as it comes to, to the entrepreneurs and to business owners and people who are creating additional streams of income, understanding the necessity to have wealth and abundance, to be able to make the impact on the kingdom of God, um, not just to have money just so that we can be hoard our money, but so that we can make an impact on the kingdom of God. It takes money to do these things. But even in that, it requires that we reinvent ourselves. There's no entrepreneur that stays the same because entrepreneurs as business owners, we have to continually figure out what's the next best thing. How do we keep our business afloat? How do we get more clients? What do we need to do? So our mind is constantly going and moving. And when that happens, we redevelop and reinvent ourselves. And so as, I, as, as the message is today, reinventing yourself, I want you to do that because when you reinvent yourself, you open up doors for God to do amazing things in your life. The Bible says people are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of prayer. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of ideas. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of desire. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of emotion or empathy. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of people. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, not the lack of money. People are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge, right? And so as you gain knowledge, you gain understanding. And what happens, where is knowledge? Knowledge is right here, right in your mindset. And as you begin to develop your mindset and gain knowledge in your respective places, you will reinvent yourself and you will not be destroyed, but you shall multiply. You understand? And so you shall not be destroyed, but you shall multiply. God has me on this Facebook live today because there's somebody that I'm talking to today that has been stagnant. There is someone that I'm talking to today that has been in the same place way too long and been doing the same thing way too long. I'm talking to you on Facebook live today and God has drawn you to my video today. Because he is saying to wake up from your dry places and wake up from your complacency and get out of the place of comfort. This is the day that he is sounding the alarm that you wake up from the dead places that you have set yourself in. And he says to come to yourself, meaning come into the power of knowing who you are and whose you are. Come into the power of knowing that this pain didn't come to beat you down, but this pain has come to produce a power within you. And the power that is produced in you from the pain isn't even about you, Tanya. It's not about you. TNC is not about you, Zona. It is about the edification of the kingdom of God. And the power that God gives you is the power to create, the power to inspire, the power to change the world. And that only comes after persecution. 
If you don't believe me, ask Jesus because he had to go to the cross. He had to be crucified. He had to endure pain that you can't even comprehend. But when he endured that pain, it's only after the endurance of the pain that he gave the power. For us to get up the power of everlasting life, the power over the enemy's camp. He had to endure the pain and he reinvented himself and he became power for us. And so this morning, as I'm on here, I hear God saying, get up, get up from your dry place. Get up. I need you to get up and I need you to reinvent yourself. Get up. You are not just like a tree because a tree planted by a water can only be a tree planted by the water. Come on this morning. Um, a, a cheer can only be a cheer that someone sits in. Come on. A television can only be a television that you watch. Come on. A phone can only be a phone. Come on. A deer can only be a deer. Come on. A cat can only be a cat. A cow can only be a cow. A fish can only be a fish. A sheep can only be a sheep. But you, my dear, I've given you the power to reinvent yourself. If you don't want to stay in the place that you're in, you can reinvent yourself. I don't know who the Roberta is or or was back in 1999. I got a I remember a part of who she is, but that's not who I am today. I'm not the same person that I was to um in 1999. I'm not the same person I was in 2000 um here in 2023. I reinvented myself. I decided that I wanted to create wealth and abundance for my family. So it required for me to reinvent myself. It required for me to no longer sit there and self sabotage. It required me to look at myself in a mirror and take full responsibility for where I was at financially, where I was at in my life. It it caused me to stop playing the blame game. Stop being a victim of it's my mama did it. Um, and, and it's my father. He didn't. He my father wasn't around. My father was an alcoholic. My mama didn't love me. All of these issues, my abandoned. I was abandoned. I was dropped off in, in, in the ville. I, I had all of these issues of feeling like it's what happened to me. But the moment that I realized and got up from my place and said that it happened for me, that it reinvented myself, it reinvented the minute that I realized that it ha didn't happen to me that it happened for me. There was something that happened inside of me that created a new version of me. You understand? And then the power that God had from the pain that was inside of me came in full effect. So I am not the same person that I was. I am not the same person I was three years ago. I, God is continually reinventing me. So I'm saying that because he wants to reinvent somebody new inside of you. He wants to invent a better, a bigger, better, more powerful, more effective person inside of you. He wants to, uh, uh, he wants to create a person that's more impactful, more precise with their words, precise with their ministry, precise with their craft. He wants to, you to get over fear. He wants you to get over procrastination. He wants you to be bold and in the face of your adversary. He wants to create a new version of you. And in order for you to do that, you have to be able to move in the power inside of you and reinvent yourself and I am not the same I am not even the same person that I was last week because there's some things that is constantly going through some things that's constantly shaping me because I am clay in the hands of the potter and that is who you are so I want you to you can either be clay in the potter and just be, sit there and be manipulated and moved but in, in or you can become a clay in the hands of the potter and become something great so it's up to you on what you become with the pain in your life it's up to you on what you become with the things that are going wrong in your life. It is up to you what you become. And so this morning, God is saying, my daughter, my sons, I need you to get up from your dry places. My daughter, my sons, I need you to use the pain and I need you to produce the power. I need you to get up from your dry place and I need you to reinvent yourself. I need you to go back into the camp of which I delivered you from and deliver the people. Oh, come on, God. God is saying too many of us are in the walls when he says, get out in the streets, get out in the world. The world is crumbling, my dear. The world is crumbling, but you are in the walls waiting for people to come to you and God is saying, go to the people. But in order for you to go to the people, you go got to get out, out of fear and that you got to reinvent yourself because the same thing that walk, worked in the walls don't work outside of the walls. So that means that you got to reinvent yourself. That means that you got to reinvent yourself. Somebody said, God, reinvent me, reinvent me. Somebody say, reinvent me, reinvent me, reinvent me, reinvent me because I understand that I, I've been in this place too long. Reinvent me, God. I, I've been, I've been and just getting by too long reinvent me God 
I know you, you have a power and a position and a pur purpose for me. Reinvent me, God. Go to the chat bar and just say, reinvent me. Oh, reinvent me, God. Oh, God, I know you are a marvelous creator, but God, I need you to reinvent me, God. Oh, God, I need you to reinvent me so that the blind eyes can see. Reinvent me, God. I need you to reinvent me so that I lay hands on the people in the sick shall recover. Reinvent me, God. God, you said greater things that I shall do, but God, I know that you place power and abundance in my hands but I haven't been operating in the gift and anointing that you've given to me reinvent me God oh God dust off the old and bring in the new I need you to reinvent me God oh God reinvent me God reinvent me father oh God come on make a new version of me make a new improved version of me give me a 2000, 2024 version of me I didn't say 2023 because that's almost over give me 2024 version of me God God, shine me up, oh God. Oh God, reinvent me. Reinvent me. Reinvent me, God. Every year they come out with a new iPhone. It's reinvented and do better and greater things. Why am I do still doing the same thing for the past five to ten years? Reinvent me, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah this morning. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Reinvent me. Hallelujah. Give me a 2024 version of me. Oh God, make me be used and ready for your battlefield 2024 new improved version of me. Oh, I, the old version no longer works. I need a 2024 version of me. Oh God, I need to come out fresh, new and approved, ready to, ready to slay the enemy. Make me a new version of me. Oh, the old version of me of self-destruction, procrastination self-doubt let that be gone and over with give me a new version of me reinvent myself reinvent my mind God reinvent the way that I vision myself reinvent the way that I think reinvent the way that I see problems reinvent the way that I see people reinvent the way I see my spouse reinvent me God oh God reinvent me somebody say reinvent me somebody say reinvent me God oh God I just thank you God for the people who are on this social media today I want you to click share this video because I'm about to go in prayer and then I'm going to get off of this Facebook live. I need you to share the video and I need you to send some stars because God is going to reinvent you. You hear me? You are not on this Facebook live just by happenstance. God is saying, I want to reinvent you, but I need you to slow down enough so that I can do the spiritual operation on you to reinvent you, to get all the self-sabotage out the way. The only reason you haven't been as successful as you know you should be is because you get in your way is because you get in your way and the bible says that that the, the no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But I'm going to say this morning, make sure that you are not the weapon formed against yourself that is prospering. Oh, come on. Y'all don't want to hear me this morning. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Oh, make sure that you ain't the weapon formed against yourself that is prospering against yourself because you are self-sabotaging because you just can't see the better version of you. God, reinvent me. Reinvent me so that I'm not self-sabotaging. Reinvent me so that when I get the opportunity that I go for forward and then I don't get nervous and I don't back up and come up with excuses on why I can't complete the task at hand, Father, reinvent me. Oh, y'all ain't ready this morning. Hallelujah. God, reinvent me. Reinvent me. My, my, my business is a ministry. So, so I don't want to look at my business as work. I need to look at my business as a ministry. And it's a ministry of help. But God, I need you to shift my mindset because I feel like giving up. So God, I need to reinvent you to reinvent me today. I know that's somebody. I know there's somebody that I just said right there, you have a business and you are tired and you are feeling like giving up, but God says to slow down and you came to this Facebook live in purpose. He says, baby, you are not going to give up the business, but you are going to reinvent your policies, reinvent your, your procedures, reinvent the way that you do work today. He says, I am calling the entrepreneurs to a higher level of anointing. And he says that you shall not give up. You shall reinvent yourself reinvent yourself reinvent yourself look at the past what you did wrong plug in the holes and reinvent yourself oh i know that i'm on point today i know god is speaking today oh y'all don't hear me y'all ain't ready for me in the prayer closet today let's go god reinvent yourself reinvent yourself share the video share the video share the videos tag and give some stars hallelujah hallelujah and i'm gonna pray and for everyone that needs God to reinvent themselves, say, reinvent me, reinvent my mind. 
It's all about mindset, reinventing your mind. The mindset is going to help you heal emotionally. The mindset is also going to help you heal in your in your in your natural body. The mindset is also going to help you heal in your business, give you a different mindset in the business world in a business arena. Hallelujah. God placed in my spirit, and I don't know the date just yet, but I will get it. God will give it to me. He told me to have a business conference specifically for the household of faith. Y'all don't hear me. Ah, Ramasia, my God. He said to have a business conference specifically for the household of faith. Hallelujah. And he says, I have to have it before the end of this year. So if you are a business owner, I need you to stay tuned because God has something special for the business owners, specifically of the household of faith, meaning those that believe in him and prayed over their business. He has me to hold a conference for you and the conference is going to be free. I'm not, I can't even charge you for the for what God has given me to impart into you so that your prop, so that your business can't be positioned for the wealth shift. Oh, y'all don't hear me. There is a spiritual wealth shift that is happening. And God says to prepare my people, my entrepreneurs for it. So this business conference that I'm going to have is specifically for the household of faith. So pay attention within the next couple of days. I will put the announcement out and it will be a free conference. It will be first come first serve. I know we will hit capacity. So you are the first one that I'm announcing it to. But let me tell you, God is going to be in this business conference. His anointing is going to be there. I promise you every business owner that comes to this conference, God is going to elevate and will you will not come into the conference that God has had me set aside for a whole year. Y'all don't hear me. I've been set aside a whole year, a whole year. Y'all don't hear me. He wouldn't allow me to minister for a whole year in public for this conference. So my God, I'm ready. Y'all don't hear me for every entrepreneur. It is time. It is time for a level of elevation and this conference is going to be free. It is going to be again, a business conference for the household of faith. It will be before the end of this year. Most likely it will be the middle of November. I will let you know as soon as I get the date confirmed, it will be a free event. It will be first come first, first come first served. So make sure you, you get there as soon as the link come out. And even if you desire to own a business, this is for you. It is, it is definitely for you. God got a word. So share this, share this Facebook live and I'm about to go into prayer. I am so, so grateful for God and what he has done in my life and what he's doing in your life. And for those that are on Facebook live today, again, it is no coincidence that you are drawn to this Facebook live. If you got on late, I want you to rewind it and, and watch it because God is calling you to reinvent yourself, calling you to reinvent your real estate business. Some of our real estate businesses have not prospered as not as light dormant. When God is saying you are linked with the wrong people, you're linked with the wrong energy. You have to reinvent yourself to God be the glory. So I'm going to go into prayer and then I'm going to go and start my day. Hallelujah. Send some prayer, send some hearts. Who's, who's listening to the, me today? Send some stars. Let me know that this is going on good ground. Hallelujah. 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 I'm excited about that business conference. Y'all Y'all don't know. I'm excited about that business conference. A whole year. God had me off. I shut down a whole year, a whole year, a whole year, a whole year. And he says, it's time to break the poverty curse amongst the business and the household of faith. And I got to have a business conference. I'm ready. Hallelujah. So father God, we thank you. And as I go into this prayer, I need you, if you are a business owner, put your businesses in the name of, um, in this chat so that it's covered underneath this prayer. And if you don't, if you're not a re, um, a business owner, you can just say, pray for me as you need your mindset, um, shifted. And as you got, you need God to do some reinventing, just type in the chat bar, pray for me or type in the chat bar, your business names. Hallelujah. So, Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the anointing that you have rest upon my life and the purpose that you have put on my life to help the household of faith break the poverty curse over them, that they live in a state of abundance and wealth. Oh, God, that is their birthright. God, I pray, oh, God, that this message in this Facebook life has helped someone this morning to reinvent themselves. 
Oh God, I pray that I planted the seed that you have given into me to put it into the seed of the listeners of this Facebook Live. Oh God, that you germinate, that the seed germinates and that the seed reproduces. Oh God, that we pray, oh God, that every lack, spirit of lack and spirit of poverty that it falls off the people, it falls off their mindset, it falls off their business. I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, as we touch and agree in the spirit, there's no different, there's no distance in prayer. I pray, oh God, that everyone that put their pray for me in there and every business that is put in this chat bar as I speak, I pray that the spirit of prosperity falls upon it, God. I pray, oh God, that prosperity overtakes it. I pray, oh God, that you show them what to tweak and what needs to be reinvented. And God, I also pray that every business owner be drawn to this business conference that you have called to abundance and prosperity, God. Oh God, I thank you, God, for me and us before the end of this year because there's some promises on the people of God as it relates to prosperity that you gave them for 2023 that has not yet been fulfilled. But you are saying today, oh God, that it is not over yet that you will meet them there. So God, we just thank you, oh God, for this prayer. And we ask, oh God, as we touch our mindsets, oh God, that you touch our mind and reinvent my mind, reinvent the way that I'm thinking, oh God. Reinvent me, God. Reinvent me, reinvent me. Show me how to turn the pain into power, oh God. How to show, how to change the confusion to a blueprint. God, I just thank you, God, to change the confusion to a blueprint. God, I just thank you, oh God, for this people that are on the Facebook Live. I thank you, oh God, for your anointing and your power. I ask that you bless them exceedingly, abundantly, above more than they can ask or even think. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, guys. I love you. Be blessed. Be highly favored. Walk in God's anointing today. Command the day and reinvent yourself. you got the power to do so. Make sure you pray for me as I pray for you. And be on the lookout for my conference that I'm having, my free business conference for the household of faith. It's going to be powerful, y'all. Come on, to God be the glory. Thank you for your prayers, Tanya. Hallelujah. If you could just pray for me too, I appreciate it. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Be blessed, guys. Mwah.